Hey guys, I'm here at the GPO and I've just went for a walk around just to, I suppose, what is it, to explore parts of Sydney and I'm just here and it's nice and quiet and it's just staff here just working away, setting up the, the bar or shop or restaurant, whatever it is that they're doing. So I thought I'll just uh, come in here and hide away, <laughs> well not really hide away, just doing a very different atmosphere and as you know I'm always out and about looking for places to find so today I actually want to talk about decisions that that could make you or break you actually should I talk about decisions that's a decision in itself what to talk about right so should I do talk on decisions to empower ourselves to go yes we've got to do it and then we'll work out how and a lot of us don't make enough decisions and some of us just allow others to make decisions but then there are some of us who make too much decisions that it, that when it comes to the small things you don't really want to make a decision and allow somebody else to make the decision so there's different ways but what decisions are you making these days and are they big are they small do you make any decisions do you like making decisions and I find decisions is a very important part of life to actually help us move forward. And if you don't make a decision, either yes or no, it's going to compound later on. And then you're going to have to go, oh, okay, it, you know, it's a domino effect. If you don't make that decision, it will compound. And eventually you're going to have to force yourself to making that big decision in the end. So I find that it's best to make those decisions, decide them now and get it over with. And then... For me, it's like saying yes to a lot of things and then deal with it later. And that's another disadvantage of saying yes to everything and then dealing with it later. But I feel that saying yes to things that I can do within means, but also whether it's part of my purpose, part of my mission, it helps me move forward. So decisions is a big thing. It's a big thing. and. You're going to have to think about whether this is these decisions that you're making will affect yourself, the people around you, your family, your friends, your work, your colleagues, you know, it's something that will impact, those small decisions will impact with the bigger picture, that's what I'm trying to say. So consider, consider it, think about it, don't stall on it too long, don't procrastinate on it too long, the decisions need to be made. Just notice how blue my hair is <laughs> while I was talking. It's very, um, so my hairdresser's decided to go darker with my roots, but that's all gonna wash out. So, something new, something different. I feel like I've got unicorn hair. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go for a walk out and about and have a look around before I actually get into work today. Because today is another day, another exciting day, and I'm looking forward to this Friday coming where I've got David Lindsay on the radio interview, and we're going to talk about fitness and how important it is, and what sort of fitness things we do in our life, and why he coaches people in that area as well. So he's one to look out for if you guys are watching. Um, I will be posting that very soon when the coming days are going to come. <laughs> I think that's another four, five more days and that's going to be enjoyable to be part of because part of the three quirks and a Turk, David Newman's going to be again hosting the radio interview and that in turn will be awesome. Again, always awesome. But hopefully I'll get to see Maggie at this one too. <laughs> hopefully she's back from my holidays. But yeah, no, I look forward to seeing the team again. It'll be very exciting. Another radio interview coming up. So I'm starting to get used to being on radio. I'm starting to 
get used to being heard and speaking out and it's part of my bigger mission when my friend said you know you should be on radio I just went yes that's a decision already made and everything that I have to deal with I'll learn as it comes <laughs> as it comes <laughs> and um, no I, I believe what I've the decisions that I make I'm on the right path and it's effortless and when it's effortless then it's meant to be. I'm on the right path. But when you have to deal with it for so long, then, and, and it's hard work. I mean, everything is hard work, but when you're sitting on it for way too long, the problem's way too big, then it's probably not meant to be. It's like when I was buying a property uh, a few years ago. I just went, yep, let's do, deal with it. The contract came in, the offer was set, and then the owner came back and said, yep, before you knew it, it was our property. The second investment, same thing happened. Uh, put in an offer, they came back and they just went yes. So it was effortless. It was meant to be. It was good timing and it was meant for us. And I feel that um, there were times where we even tried to get property and the property that we wanted, it didn't work out. So mum and I just went, no. Nah. Some, something else came out, came on top which was way better and it was meant to be for us to live in to make it a home and a decision was made by mum and by all of us because the decision that she made had to affect all of us because we were going to live in that house and she had to make it her home our home a home for a family that we can live breathe eat and come home to a place that we're comfortable in so Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope this video helped you guys. So I'm here to empower you to do what you love, but to empower your spirit, to share your life's gift. Where am I going to go tomorrow to film? Mm. We're going to have to wait till tomorrow to find out. Discover Sydney some more.